What's up guys, my name is Raheem. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be doing a mod on the car. Very simple mod. Uh, we're just gonna be replacing the plastic, you know, cheap feeling airbag cover on the steering wheel with this, which is a real leather uh, stitched black emblem replacement. It's pretty cool. I'll leave a link from the seller I bought this from, but he's actually local to me in Chicago. Um, he's mostly in the infinity space, so like G's and Q's and stuff like that, but he did make this custom airbag cover for me, so um, yeah, I'll link him down below. It's, it's actually really good quality uh, for the price I paid for it, and it's way cheaper than what most people are charging on the internet for stuff like this, and I know it's kind of stupid. People are going to be like, oh, it's just an airbag cover, but like, it makes, I think it makes a big difference. Also, I'm gonna be installing it with the garage closed. I don't need to start the car or anything because it is a scorching 10 degrees outside with the real feel of zero. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is actually disconnect the battery. If I can get this open. Uh, the battery is right here. We just gotta disconnect the positive terminal since we're working with an airbag. Also, my mistake, I said positive terminal, I meant negative terminal. It's don't, don't disconnect the positive terminal. <laughs> I have to be extra careful because you see there's some extra wires running through here. That's for the underglow on my car. So I just got to make sure I don't rip anything out of here. <laughs> so all you need to disconnect that uh, negative terminal right there is a 12 millimeter socket and a ratchet or whatever else it is you use and just disconnect it. So once you have it removed from the terminal, just stick it behind something plastic so it doesn't touch. And then that's my cable for my, uh, the grounding wire for my underglow. So I just left that there because this is plastic. Um, yeah, so just don't let me this metal terminal touch the metal while you're working on the car. <laughs> uh, so here's the plastic airbag cover that's currently on the car. It's got like this ugly, weird, gray plastic Lexus logo that I, I put a little bit of carbon fiber in between it to kind of spruce it up, but still it kind of just, it's, it's a weird texture. I just don't like it. I think the leather, or is it? I think that's gonna look way better. So to actually remove theirs, there's two little compartments on each side. You see one right here, and then where's the other one? It's right here on this uh, this cruise control stock. I'm not gonna go too in detail on how to actually remove the airbag from the steering wheel because another YouTuber and Lexus RCF owner, Barry, uh, he just made a video on this, so I'm just gonna link you guys to that one. Also, it's kind of dark in here. It's too cold outside and I'm kind of like cramped up against this other car, so I can't even fully open the door. So yeah, I'm just gonna link you guys to his video. He did a great job explaining it. But what I will show you is that to transfer the actual airbag component, the thing that blows up in your face, uh, to transfer that from the old airbag cover to the new one, I'll show you guys that since he didn't mention that in his video. So after you got the pins pushed from this side and this side, you should just be able to pull out the airbag. Yup, be careful, it's kind of heavy and there's some wires attached right here on the back. Just put it down gently and then use a flathead to pop this up, pop this up and then disconnect this little guy right here. So make sure these yellow things are popped up all the way uh, and then you just gotta kind of wiggle them off. Once you get those three wires disconnected, uh, you should just be able to take the airbag fully off the steering wheel and be left with this and then this is what we're replacing, but we need to transfer over this entire airbag unit first. I have no idea how to take this off, but I'm assuming I have to start with these four little nuts right here. Um, I'm gonna try to take those off and kind of see where it goes, because this these thing's attached in a lot of weird ways, like these plastic little things, and I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> okay, so scratch what I just said about actually undoing the nuts from the airbag module itself, because I'm pretty sure that'll cause it to explode and I'll die. Um, so disregard what I said, and I'm pretty sure the only thing holding it in are these black little rubber tabs. So I just gotta figure out how to pry that off, and I think we should be good. Uh, so yeah, I was right about the metal bar thing, just prying it out. I'm literally just taking a flathead and just bending these metal tabs that hold the rubber tabs in place, just so I can slide them out. So I'm gonna keep doing that, and then I'll update you guys when I'm done. <laughs> I think I got it. It seems like it's just kinda sliding out of place now. There it is. <laughs> that was easy. So essentially now I take my new cover right here and they have the same tabs all around uh, and just slide in 
this very dangerous airbag into place. And that's it. It should be done. <laughs> Now that we got all our uh, airbag, well not all of it, just one airbag transferred over, just uh, plug in the wires that you disconnected. There's the black one, the orange one, and then the ground wire that goes right there. And then we should just be able to clip it back in place. Make sure when, when you put the wires back, uh, those yellow tabs right there pop into place. You should hear a little click. And then make sure you don't forget about this ground wire right here. I'm pretty sure that's a ground wire. And then, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but oh, okay. And then we should be able to that's one click, that's two clicks, that's three clicks. We're in business. Wow, that looks so much better than the old plastic one. Jeez, that black logo <laughs> looks good. And then here's the old one, just to show you like leather, plastic, leather, plastic, uh, now just make sure you put your negative terminal back on the battery itself so the car can start and you should be good to go. Gotta make sure the underglow still works because I disconnected that cable. It works. Close her up. Nice. And we're done. Uh, just like that, we swapped over the old ugly plastic airbag cover to a nice leather red stitched one. Uh, spice up. Spice? Spruce? Spice? I don't know. Makes the interior look a little bit nicer, but uh, if you enjoyed watching or if you learned something from this, please give a like and consider subscribing. Uh, I'd love to make more YouTube videos with the car. Um, I was hoping I could figure out more mods to do on the car, but I did most of it before I started YouTube. So that kind of sucks, but there's always room for more mods, right? <laughs> but yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.